This is one thing that a lot of the people that I work with who struggle with sleep are continuously doing, and once it is fixed, it decreases the time it takes for them to get to sleep, the time they spend in bed awake, and their sleep quality. Conditioned arousal is a phenomenon in which people are associating their bed with wakefulness and or arousal because they are using their bed for things like reading, watching TV, eating, or they simply lie awake inside of the bed unable to fall asleep. Therefore, when they get into bed, their mind instantly goes to something like reading, playing on their phone, eating, or memories of struggling to fall asleep and laying awake in bed. This increases their arousal at the time in which we want to decrease arousal in order to drift off into sleep and is one of the biggest reasons by which many people struggle with their sleep latency, which is the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep. As mentioned, it's recommended to use the bed for sleep and sex only. Avoid watching television, looking at phones, reading, or eating in the bedroom, and especially not in the bed. Additionally, engage in any pre-bedtime routines outside of the bedroom, and only head to bed when you begin to get sleepy, and try to avoid prolonged periods of time spent in bed awake. For example, if you are in bed awake ruminating for more than 20 minutes, get out of bed, try to do some down-regulating technique, and only get back into bed when you feel you are sleepy enough to fall asleep. And repeat this process as often as you need in order to begin associating getting into bed with the act of falling asleep, even if that means moving things around and doing things outside of the bedroom that you once did inside of the bedroom, and spending a period of time doing active down-regulation techniques outside of the bedroom and only getting into bed until you feel you are sufficiently tired in order to fall asleep.